As we grow and develop, the cells in our body divide to make new cells. During each division, cells make a copy of their DNA, and then build a structure called the mitotic spindle to make sure each new cell gets exactly one DNA copy. The mitotic spindle is made by two centrosomes that build stiff fibers of the protein tubulin, called microtubules, which connect to DNA. To effectively pull apart DNA, centrosomes build hundreds, sometimes even thousands, of microtubules. How do centrosomes build so many microtubules and arrange them in the correct pattern? To answer this question, we made synthetic centrosomes in a test tube using proteins found in the nematode, C. elegans. We found that the outer layer of the centrosome, called pericentriolar material, is a sponge-like scaffold made up of the protein SPUD5. This sponge selectively soaks up tubulin and enzymes that help build microtubules. Once these components are concentrated inside the sponge, microtubules start to form. Just like in a sponge, the scaffold is fairly stable, while the concentrated proteins inside are liquid-like and can move around freely within the sponge. With these experiments, we were able to build structures that were similar to centrosomes in C. elegans embryos in terms of size, shape, and the ability to specifically attract other centrosome-related proteins and we discovered a minimal set of components needed for centrosomes to make microtubules and arrange them in the right pattern. If you'd like to know more, please read our work, published in Cell.